everyone. Welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled Eating Watermelon. And the verse for today is Acts 17:11. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Acts 17.11 There's something wonderful about cutting into a cold watermelon on a hot day. With its beautiful green exterior and juicy red flesh, it would be easy to simply inhale such a fabulous treat without a second thought. However, there's one tiny little problem. Actually, many tiny problems. Watermelons have seeds. Nowadays, not all of them. <laughs> you have to carefully examine your chunk of watermelon to make sure that you aren't swallowing something you shouldn't. And don't even get me started on so-called seedless watermelons. <laughs> Spoiler alert, they aren't seedless. It doesn't matter if you believe seeds should be removed prior to chewing or if you're the type that prefers spitting. The important thing to know is what to ingest and what to reject. Much like a nice ripe watermelon, a lot of biblical teaching can appear quite lovely on the surface. If it's what we want to hear, it's tempting to take it all in without a second thought but all teaching should be examined in light of God's word. What holds true should be ingested, and anything false should be rejected. Even in church circles, some strive for popularity over truth. No matter who's teaching and no matter who's, how great it sounds, we must examine it by the light of God's word so we don't accidentally swallow a seed. There are many opinions and ideas presenting themselves as truth, Lord. Give me the wisdom to measure everything against your word and to take in only that which you say is true. Amen. Well, I don't know about you, but I could go for some nice sweet watermelon. <laughs> no pepper or salt, though. Just plain watermelon. <laughs> and, um... You know, who grew up with their parents telling them if you eat a seed, it'll grow in your stomach. <laughs> it'll grow a fruit in your stomach. But um, it's very true. We have to test the spirits, you know, the Bible says. We have to try the spirits. We have to measure everything up to what the Word actually says because there are a lot of theologies out there. There are a lot of false doctrines out there. People get into their flesh when they're talking about the Lord and say a lot of things that they feel, you know, quote unquote. But we need to be careful to stick to what his word actually says. And we will be held accountable for what our mouth says. And the word also says, out of the heart you know, is what the mouth says. So we need to be very careful to make sure that we're not saying things that aren't true. You know, Jesus said, he answered the man that asked, what is the greatest commandments? And he said, love God with all your heart and love thy neighbor as thyself, which can be awfully challenging at times but the concept is, you know, to treat others the way that you would be treated. So, unfortunately, it is a hot 89 again for the next two weeks, 90s. What's up with that? <laughs> but at least it cools off at night when I go walking, so it's not terrible. But I'm over it. Let's get to the 70s. You can see the leaves already falling on my tree. So, let's go fall. But I hope that you all have a blessed rest of the week. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. Love you. Bye.